The fact that the Red Ranger wasn't even meant to be the Red Ranger, but then became the Red Ranger because the other Red Ranger had to go off and do Red Ranger things. So much Red Ranger! What up everyone, it's your boy FlowsMG back with another episode of Tear Up, and this time I am ranking the Power Rangers series. There's a good amount of these, and I'm not counting Dino Fury because I haven't gotten into a single episode of that yet. I just finished Beast Morphers as of recording this, and obviously there are going to be some series of Power Rangers that I know more than other, and that is going to influence my ranking a little bit, but I'm going to try and be a bit fair overall, but in the end it's my rankings. It's ranking time! Eh, that doesn't really sound good. Let's just get right into it. Before this video starts, I just want to say that only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you like this video and want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything, and you can always change your mind in the future. Now back to the video. The rankings for this video are as follows. God Tier. It's Morphing Time. Strong Team. Rita Repulsive. And Cancel. I know Rita Repulsive sounds like it would be a cancelled tier type of thing, but I just like the pun. These aren't going to be in chronological order as much as they are alphabetical order, so we're starting off with Power Rangers Beast Morphers, one of one of the more recent uh, series. I will say this one definitely stood out from many of the past Ranger series because of one, the visors aren't just some like black glass or anything, they actually kind of look like tinted sunglasses like each color to their respective ranger and also with the ranger costumes they also ditched the spandex and went to like a sort of a biker leather if you know what i mean i mean i really gotta give props to them for um straying away from the norm i'll say the beast morpher team was created in the laboratories of grid battle force grid battle force was is a facility that figured out a way to draw the draw the morphing grid energy and liquefy it to a substance called morph x which the evil virus named evox wanted to get his hands on like i said some series i'm going to know much more than others with power rangers beast morphers being the first of its kind in many ways honestly i want to put it up in god tier that that to me straying off from the norm doing its own thing in many different ways that, that, that's a god tier move to me. Oh yeah, next up we have Power Rangers Dino Charge. Oh yeah, I should also mention that I'm not including any of the iterations of the supers like Super Samurai, Super Mega Force, Super Charge, Super Steel, none of that. I'm not including none of that. Because it's all technically the same series. But either way, with the Dino Charge Rangers, their power is drawn from these crystals called Energems, which the ruthless bounty hunter Sledge covets their power for i kind of forgot the reason he just wants power but either way the energems chose the rangers and they're able to morph in the rangers see that's also a thing about power rangers series that kind of sways me into like if i want to watch it or not it's if the power chooses them as opposed to them just being chosen and given the power if you know what i mean if they're given the power by someone else in this sense, the Energems chose these specific Rangers. Power Rangers Dino Charge, definitely one of my favorites. It is definitely a god tier boy. Plus, dinosaurs were the OG concept of the Rangers! Speaking of dinosaurs, I shouldn't even have to debate this, but I'm going to anyway. Power Rangers Dino Thunder, bringing back the legendary Tommy Oliver! as the black dino thunder ranger sort of similarly these rangers got their powers from dino gems which i believe were fragments of asteroids that held in the power of the dinosaurs i could be a little bit wrong their main enemy is a sort of creature named mesagog who covets the power of the dino gems to reverse the time of earth bringing it back to the time of the dinosaurs I mean, he could have simply just wanted to destroy the Earth, but nah, he had to turn it back millions of years. But hey, uh, if you know Power Rangers Dino Thunder, you know where the fuck it needs to go. 
Down of Thunder is definitely deserving of a god tier series. Next up we have one of my personal favorites, Power Rangers Jungle Fury. The Power Rangers and Power Rangers Jungle Fury were all students of the Pai Shua. I don't know if that exactly translates into anything, I do not have the time to research into it. But basically they fight with techniques based off animal spirits. The way these rangers got their powers, well, they sort of already had powers, they just weren't able to morph into rangers until the three main rangers, red, blue, and yellow, all were sent off to a mentor in Ocean Bluff. His name being RJ, and he gave them their morphers, who he had a friend kind of tap into the morphing grid. The main enemy of Power Rangers Jungle Fury, Dai Shi, a very dangerous spirit that was kept in a box in the forbidden room of the Pai Shua. Until a certain student got a little rambunctious and kind of knocked the box over, releasing the power of Dai Shi. And then Dai Shi took over the spirit took over the body of that student and used him to carry out his evil deeds. This is definitely one of my favorite series. I don't want to put too many up into God tier. I need to put it one step lower and it's morphing time, otherwise it's going to get a little redundant. Next up, not one of my favorites, but it's Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. I will say in terms of helmets and suits, this was a pretty interesting concept. The shape of the helmets, the visors, whatever. It kind of represented their shields or something. The only thing I don't like is that this this group of rangers were chosen. Like, like they weren't chosen by the power. They were chosen by a certain group of people and then they were just given their power. That is, that's the main thing I'm a little iffy on. And if I have the history of these rangers wrong, please feel free to tell me in the comments. I'm just going to say Lightspeed Rescue, it, it is not one of my favorites. But at the same time, I don't think I can just put it into Cancelled. One step above in Rita Repulsive. Next up we have Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. This one, I don't really believe I've watched as much. Uh, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, don't really know the characters, don't really know how they got their powers other than it was, they have something to do with their weird sword things. And that one of these rangers may have died. And the past villain may have filled in the shoes of that ranger. Yeah, th th this, this series had a really, really dark part. But at the same time, it's still not one of my favorites. Costumes just felt a bit lackluster. Just everything, it, it didn't really click with me. Next up we have... A series of wasted potential Power Rangers Megaforce. Like this, this is one of the series that I got into. The Red Ranger, Troy, he always just had sort of a blank, he always just felt like a blank slate, no emotion behind it. It felt like he just wasn't human, in a sense. And then of course there's Super Megaforce where they gain the power of every ranger in the goddamn Rangerverse. I don't know what it's called really. I think that's the only redeeming factor for Megaforce, which keeps it out of Rita Repulsive for me. That was the only thing that saved them. Oh, next up we have the OGs, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, where they first also introduced Tommy Oliver. And like the fact that they were the first Rangers, you know what, there's no debate. The first Rangers deserve a God tier spot. I mean, it only makes sense. But next up, we have Power Rangers Mystic Force. This is not one of the series I watched, but it had definitely a, one of the, the best theme songs. Plus, I think this group of Rangers kind of also strayed away a little bit with actually giving the Rangers like sort of capes, making them feel like authentic superheroes. Powers clearly from magic or something. But at the same time, I could not really get into this series. While not being able to get into the series, the coolness of the cape plus the banging theme song, that kind of saves it putting it in strong team. At least some of these have some redeeming factors. Next up, one of the newer series, we have Power Rangers Ninja Steel. This was one I got into, so I could be able to explain it better. Power Rangers Ninja Steel, a group of teenagers, obviously, gain their power 
from ninja stars held within the Nexus Prism. And they say that only true good-hearted warriors can reach into the prism to grab out a power star. Which all these guys were able to do. But a ruthless warrior named Galvanax coveted the power of these power stars. What for? For power's sake, I'm pretty much sure. But alas, his own ambitions and urge to get that power destroyed him in the end. This is definitely one of my favorite series, but I can't exactly say that it's god tier worthy. For me, it's probably on par with Jungle Fury-ish. Next up, another one of my favorite series, Power Rangers Ninja Storm. The Ninja Storm Rangers trained at the Ninja School in Blue Bay Harbor, and that's also one thing that I noticed with all these Ranger series. They all have some sort of like oceanic name. There's been Blue Bay Harbor, Ocean Bluff, Angel Grove, Amber Beach, Reefside, so many oceanic type of places. What is it with oceans? The main villain of the series, the evil space ninja, Lothar. The Rangers didn't exactly have a power that he coveted exactly. He just wanted to destroy the Earth and everyone on it. And the Rangers just simply got in the way of that. But the thing is, he also had a pair of Rangers. He had the Thunder Rangers. Who he kind of kidnapped and kind of warped their minds a little bit to convince them that the Storm Rangers were their enemy. But eventually they snapped out of it and then became good guys. The Ninja Storm, the Ninja Storm Rangers, also one of my favorite series, but... I actually have to put it at the very beginning of probably Strong Team. That's where I have to put it. Now we're getting into the Rangers I can't exactly get on board with, with Power Rangers Operation Overdrive. Like, I don't know what it is about Rangers sort of themed around cars and shit, but I could never get into it. Like, Operation Overdrive, I don't know much about it. I have no desire to know much about it. It, it, it does not click with me. It just does not click. And I'm sorry about that. Next up, very similarly with Operation Overdrive, we have Power Rangers RPM. Themed around cars, couldn't exactly get into it. I just know they're on a different world that was completely overrun by some sort of virus. That's all I know. I, I really could not get into it. And I also have no desire to get into it. If you hate me, feel free to do that on your own time. Next up, we have Power Rangers Samurai. So much potential, but the lack of good writing. The fact that the Red Ranger wasn't even meant to be the Red Ranger, but then became the Red Ranger because the other Red Ranger had to go off and do Red Ranger things. So much Red Ranger! And honestly, I think in this series, they never said the term Power Rangers. It was always Samurai Rangers. Yeah, they, they never said Power Rangers. It was only ever just Samurai Rangers. That demotes you. While being a really good series, bringing back the theme song layout of the original, of the original Mighty Morphin series, that is one redeeming factor. I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna put you like toward the beginning. I'm gonna put you right here in Strong Team. I kept contemplating, but that's where I'm gonna end it up. Next up, we have Power Rangers in Space. This is where the Turbo Rangers go into space because I believe an enemy of theirs kind of fleed into space and then they needed to, I don't know, find them and defeat them. When they met up with another sort of ranger who gave them the space powers of whatever, Astro Morphers, that's what it was called. Like to me, this would have been a really great series if it did not have one of the worst team ups in history. I don't know what kind of cocaine meth shit the producers were on, but they made these guys team up with the Ninja Turtles. And I'm just going to say that was a horrendous epic failure. So much so that I would, I would have put it in strong team. Maybe it's morphing time, but that brought it down. That one battle brought it so far down and it was just, it hurt to watch. Next up, we have Power Rangers SPD. This isn't exactly one I was able to get on board with because also felt like these rangers were just given their power. They weren't even the main squad of rangers. These were They were the beta squad. I don't know much about this series, but it does have one pretty good redeeming factor. 
It has the most lit theme song out of every Ranger series. It has the best theme song. So much so that I have to bring it from Rear Repulsive up to probably Strong Team. Also, in the comments, let me know if you want me to do theme song covers of any of these series. Please let me know because I'm actually starting to run out of ideas of other shows. Next up we have Power Rangers Time Force. This one, this was definitely a different concept because it was time traveling rangers. It wasn't themed about being like ninjas, cars, or dinosaurs. It wasn't themed around anything like that. Nothing to do with any animals or nothing. They did have one interesting thing with their helmets is that it wasn't just like um, a black strip of tinted glass or nothing. It was actually like full on shapes that went ahead of their eyes. Which, strangely enough, they were able to see out of. I think that's one interesting factor that kind of brought it out of cancelled for me. And just set it on the very edge of Reader Repulsive. Again, this is just my opinions. I would love to hear you lash out at me. And then I'll ignore it. Next up we have Power Rangers Turbo. One of the series that featured Tommy as the Red Ranger. Well, for like half of the series and then it went to a different person being the Red Ranger who ended up being the Blue Ranger and Power Rangers in space. But Turbo, again, being themed around cars, don't exactly get on board with it. But Tommy being the Red Ranger for a good part of it is a redeeming factor for me. So I think I have to put it a little bit higher. That's the only thing that took it out of canceled for me. That's the only thing. Next up we have Power Rangers Wild Force. Wild Force, again, don't know much about the series. Just know that all their power is themed around animals and shit like that. Still, never really able to get completely on board with this series. I don't know what it was, I just never really found any interest in it. Not to mention the actor of the Red Ranger, kind of... Well, he kind of did some pretty bad and gruesome thing. We're not going to get into that, but I think for that reason I have to put him down into Rita Repulsive. Well, last up we have Power Rangers Zeo, the Ranger series that came after the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, featuring Tommy as the new Red Ranger. And I don't know what it was with Power Rangers Zeo and shapes, but the visors on their helmets were all shapes. And I actually learned this recently, but the reason why they are the certain shapes they are is because of their respective Zeo Ranger 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's because of how many sides, it's how many sides their visors have. It corresponds with their Zeo Ranger whatever. Zeo Ranger 1 pink had an oval, one side. Zeo Ranger 2 yellow had two very real thin ovals, which in all seriousness really only had two sides because there are only two ovals, which both have one side. Zeo Ranger 3 blue triangle three sides, Zero Ranger 4, green, rectangle, Zero Ranger 5, red, which is a star for some reason, which technically has 10 sides. Maybe, maybe a pentagon looked too weird. But either way, Tommy being the redeeming factor, I want to put this at the very end of Strong Team. These are my opinions, man. You don't like it? Fuck you. And these... Actually, I'm going to move Power Rangers Samurai up to the end of its morphing time, and that's where I'm going to leave it. These are my opinions. I've been FlozMG. This has been Tear Up, ranking the Power Ranger series, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Bye! Bitch, I ain't your hero. Don't call me a savior. Think I'm out of control, eh? That's just my behavior. I'm bringing the house down. Major devastation. You don't gotta worry, cause it don't matter. I'm antisocial.